Hey everyone, Deltron here. We're back again with another RTC co-op submission. This is Treasure Hunt by Velen. Amon's forces have arrived on Anith, a home of the Nerezine tribe. Protest survivors have a plan how to stop the enemy's progress in the vast cavern system, but they need your assistance in collecting Iridium crystals. So I'm going to be playing as Kerrigan. Jay is going to go Artanis. This does have a difficulty selection, so we will be playing on hard. And this looks like... Uh, I do believe this is voice acted by Pernogo, and it does look like a escort type mission. Mm hmm I have to say, as, as we load up here, I am truly shocked at the number of voice acted entries we have here. Mm -hmm. Almost every single one has been voice acted, even if it's just been a text-to-speech bot. And uh, it's, it's, it's a new level of quality that we have not had for a long time. I've, I've always stressed how, it, how unimportant it is to a finished product, but it's so cool seeing so many of them. Mm -hmm. We require more minerals. And Debug all, messages. We need more minerals. Now, although many of these maps. I am Alnazar of the Anithian tribe. We greatly appreciate your assistance. I'm afraid I must spare you the pleasantries, as there is no time to waste. If we are to hold against the vile hybrid. We must charge up our underground defenses by collecting Iridium crystals. All right. Okay. I, I just need to not talk at the beginning of the map. <laughs> <Just expect. laughs> what were you <laughs> saying? No, just although that many of these submissions have been um, escort type. I mean, each one has been pretty unique. So. Yes. They all put a twist on it in some way. They're not just... Mm -hmm. Missed opportunities, exactly. You know, they're all something mm -hmm. very interesting and new. Yeah. A lot of the, you I know, like either... The uh, training on this map is really cool with the... Uh, like the oh, the yeah, yeah, the, the underground, the cavernous. The, like the, you know, the Nerezine green. I'm not sure what that is. It's like a little highway over there. <laughs> yeah, there's like a, like a train system. That's yeah. really cool looking. I would assume because... There are rocks at our expansions. They are free to take. There's no direct ramp, though. I guess we'll probably have to go around. Yeah, I assume there's a connection up here, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We actually have two entrances to our base. Oh, that's... Uh, on, opposite, on opposite sides, I should say. There are two ramps on many other maps as well, but this one is on two sides of the base. Could result in some, some wackiness. Mm -hmm. Coolio. So I'm going to go greedy here and get an early... Hatchery. I don't mm -hmm. Good luck. Not enough minerals. <laughs> One thing I will say to uh, commenting on, on the voice acting, Prona goes really good at, at all of his characters sounding really mad. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is like, I'm the Nerezim! <laughs> Turn on the defenses! <laughs> I mean, I get it's earth, you know, there's some urgency here. Yeah. Bad news if we don't uh, don't get this worked out. <laughs> also, there is a direct uh, path to the expansions. That's nice. Okay. Well, overall, I'm liking the feel of this map. I mean, nothing, just from the training and voice acting and. The first oh yeah. Has emerged from Enith's crust. When you reach the iridium, we will warp in a harvester to collect it. Okay. How much? Okay. So I did, on the loading screen, it said to clear out the crystals. Clear out the areas around the crystals. Before, First, okay. Before taking them. And to avoid storms. So. <laughs> Storm? Watch like, out. <laughs> like thunderstorms? I guess maybe there's just random st storms from, you know, I'm not sure. That scares me. Environmental <laughs> effects. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I will avoid just, storms. Just, just needs twisters and then um, strong winds, and then it'll just be like StarCraft Universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, those 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 in StarCraft Universe were just <laughs> a nightmare. Yeah. I have a feeling here Please it'll just be. Delay. If we are to better shield ourselves from the coming storm, you must transport three crystals before it hits. Oh shit! So we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> so now there's a timer. Oh, that's a bonus objective. That's the bonus Holding objective. Oh. We'll set off okay. Okay. 
So transport three crystals in time. Oh, so we have to get three within five minutes here. Minerals. And that is, that's a bonus objective. Break yes. Yourselves. Before storms start to, I guess after this four, 445 time remaining, then the storms will start arriving. Uh, so I'm, yep, that I'm, sounds I'm, about I'm right. Go defend. Okay. Interesting how <laughs> the bonus objective here involves pretty much directly. Naysayers might say these crystals are an outdated energy source. To those, I say, I do Jonos Taro Jihi. What? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, it's cool how the bonus objective is directly affected Whatever by the beginning of the map. Most mm -hmm. of the time we don't see those popping so, up till so later, end, so this is yeah. a little uh, little change with how soon you want to move out and take those, which I like. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. I'm going to take my expansion here. Okay. I technically took yours. Okay, well, I'm going to go straight to it. Okay. Got to get that bonus objective. Ooh! I want to see what the storms are, though. <laughs> this is... Guard the transport well. I mean, we need to get a bunch of them, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, this is another bonus objective that's directly affect... Seems like it directly affects the, the gameplay. Like, how hard... I or... personally enjoy that, I have yeah. to say. I'm a, I'm a fan of the bonus objectives oh, actually... Doing stuff. Doing something. Yeah. The crystal harvester does have its own attack. Wow, that's a lot of hellions. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll. Quick. Yeah, I'll come help you out. Explain. Prepare yourself. Another crystal has surfaced. Okay. So before this one finishes, there is another one. Okay. Good thing that that uh, that massive solar bombardment helps. Hit perfectly. <laughs> it perfectly misses every every friendly unit that's in it. Phew. Mm -hmm. Some good uh, Spear of a Dune. Yeah, right. Shot some, some really good uh, some aiming right turret there. operators up there. Yep. Can I get a hive? Nope. Okay, oh, I guess let's go get the last one. Maybe we can get it before the, the timer. The should be able to, hopefully. So we are playing on hard for this one. Yep. Feels, uh, difficulty feels good. You know, we're getting attacked while we're doing the objectives. It's not just we can move out and easily take these things. This one is, uh, seems a little more challenging. Yeah, this one's definitely more heavily defended. Mm, yeah, give me those. Okay. We require more minerals. So now they're Come. attacking. Metamorphosis complete. Here comes the giant, the giant wave of uh, aliens. <laughs> okay, cool. Very much like missed opportunities in that the enemy waves spawn in response to the transport moving back to where it needs to go. But it's not going back to the same spot every time. It's going somewhere different, so it forces you um, on your way to the first crystal. When the storm comes. The weather shield will be extended. Cool. Okay. That's nice. So your we're still going to see the storms. Explain your yes. Queen um, but what I was thinking was that, yeah, so in we missed opportunities, enemies just spawn, right? And they just pop up uh, on just from nowhere, basically, and mm -hmm. go. I mean, they, they are here as well. But the difference is we may end up having to push through another enemy base just to get to the drop-off point. So that's the twist energy. on this one is there's multiple. Right. The storm is upon us. Powering up the weather shield now. Ooh. If you tread past the shield, be wary of the storm clusters, lest they tear your forces asunder. All right. Let's see what these things do. I'm gonna send a zergling just to see how fast it kills. Those are pretty cool looking though. Oh yeah. I like it how how it actually has the the boundary, so you actually know how close you can get to it. We are detecting yep. hybrid. Not instant death, but no. pretty quick. Oh, the hybrid will, <laughs> Make it will be instant death, though. <laughs> yes. Wow, there are a lot of uh, hybrid storms. Storms and hybrid, yeah. Uh, hopefully, these are programmed not to go near our expansions. I would be a little ornery if that was the case. We don't want that. <laughs> you don't not, want me being ornery, folks, let me tell you. <laughs> 
Here comes a storm. It's kind of like its own little mutator on this oh, map, yeah. you know? This plus the uh, the tornadoes. Yeah, so plus, we're escorting the with that, the tornadoes. That, that would be a fun uh, mutation. I do like how, yeah, it's just built into this map. Mm -hmm. Oh god, don't draw him over here! Don't draw him over here! What are you doing? <laughs> no! Probes, no! Yeah, the storms. Yeah, they don't. They don't path into your expansion. Yeah, you. They just got drawn in. Oh, you mean the storms? Yeah, the, the storms, storms seem yeah. to be avoiding. It. Which is great. Okay, we have not had another crystal pop up yet. Okay, I think probably because we got the first three so quickly. Let's give it some time. I assume so. Yes. Spawn more overlords. Not enough minerals. Yeah, Kerrigan is so slow to start. Yeah. Yeah, Especially of the three available, the, the I would just play Rainer or Artanis every time, but... Yeah. <laughs> Explain yourself. Gotta make, mix it up. I, I do like Kerrigan, though. She's probably my least favorite, you personally, to play, but... Yeah. Need more minerals. It's just me! Okay. The crystal has just broken through the crust. Prepare for its collection. Are, are they attacking it? No. So, no time like the maybe have, is there like a built-in timer for these crystals? Already? Like, how yes. long do we have? Make it quick. What is it? You have before... I can't tell if they're going to the crystal. I think the, the do not let, allow three crystals to be destroyed is when, yeah, I don't know if, are they, if they attack the crystals do directly. Not let your forces get too close to the storm cluster, or they will be destroyed. That's a nice little reactive trigger yes. there. Uh -huh, that's nice. Speak. If you get close. Very large attack. Oh, nice. So, I can't click on the crystals, so I don't know if they... I think it's the transport being destroyed. The transport is being destroyed. No time like the present. But if we just waited, I, I'm guessing that more crystals would spawn and eventually... Like, is there a timer to this mission? Is or? there an, yeah, is there like a top timer where they, they can yeah. directly attack? I don't know. I am Thank you. These are the types of attacks I think I would expect. It seems like every time we're returning, it spawns an enemy attack. Yeah, but that is a good question. We could just wait. We could let the next one spawn and just wait and see what happens. More than half of the crystals are secured. Or maybe we should do it on the last one just to make sure we can still win right. no matter what. Yeah. I don't know. Looks like the enemy is heading for us. Let's go say hello. I mean, this map it seems uh, well polished. I do have. I have to oh say yeah, that. definitely. Uh, I like how our bases are smack in the middle. It kind of reminds me of the train mission. The train and uh, I mean, Dead of Night as well. But Dead of Night, you don't have. Uh, all my drones are just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Dead of Night, you don't have expansion to take. So. They are vile. They are attempting to destroy our power cell. Ooh, a bonus ejector. If you could spare the forces to prevent its destruction, we would be eternally grateful. Okay, so the bonus objective... Kill the hybrid So this one may not affect cell. us. Oh. Yes. No. Explain yourself. I got irradiated. Speak. <laughs> Make it quick. Get out of there! You have my... Another crystal is ready to be harvested. Oh, is that a widow mine? God. <laughs> I never made a robotics facility. Oh, I'll make some overseers. Immobilization wave is available, my Anytime I make overseers to Zerg, they just always die. Every time. Yep. I don't know just, how my observers run. stay alive. They just, yes. But they're cloaked. <laughs> yeah. I am the yeah, let's get in there. Oh, that's, yeah, that makes complete sense. Oh, this is pretty heavily defended. Wow. I think there was an attack that was spawned as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a uranium crystal. Now, it shall stand as a testament to your prowess, commanders. Ah. Oh, now they are going directly. Signature detected. It poses a great threat to the uranium. Okay. That answers our question, I think. Okay. So we can lose two crystals. Uh, yes. It's not I don't think we should have gone this way, but pathing through the enemy base. But I'll send some zerglings just to distract. Zerglings, go! Our Hybrid are attempting to destroy the crystal. 
You must avert its destruction. Oh, it actually shows a crystal integrity. That's yeah, neat. so that it, there is there is a hard there is a hard timer. That's what I was saying. It does that does answer our question, which is neat. It looks like it it still ticks down very slowly, even if they're no, I can't tell. In a transporter now. I couldn't tell if it was still going down, even though it wasn't getting attacked, because it was a timer. It looked like it wasn't really a health bar necessarily. Maybe. Yeah. Either way, uh, really cool and well done. All right, where's this attack coming from? There it is. Uh, from the right side. Oh, Kerrigan died. I didn't even realize that. Oh, nice storms. Yes. Oh god. Oh god. Protect it. There's widow mines. <laughs> it has a decent See, amount of health. It does have a good amount of health. And that allowed us to get our, our units back down here. So once you get down into this section, it gets harder. We will begin processing this crystal immediately. Many thanks, commanders. This map feels really well balanced. The difficulty scales just right. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot so far, just with how uh, again, the first the first two or three, just for that first bonus objective, really well done. It's possible that the weather shield he was talking about, maybe that bonus objective allowed it to cover our expansions, perhaps? I'm really not sure. Yeah, I'm not, not sure what that was. Um, extend the weather shield or... Attack incoming. Also, the storms have stopped. More Vespian required. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure, sure if those were just going to last the whole time or not. Lurkers! Oh, one of them's irradiated. Womp womp. This enemy composition, man. <laughs> With the irradiated is terrible. <laughs> Especially on a... So I'm just, I'm just going Zerg. Yeah. Zergling Hydralis. Yes. Okay. Speak. Now I suppose I can get some Your observers now. Listens. Maybe consider decreasing the the you downtime between attention. crystals. What is it? But I mean, it does give you enough yourself. time to rebuild. So. Your queen. Yeah, next one. I mean, uh, I, the next one could be popping up now, and I think that would be yeah reasonable. See, my biggest complaint so far is just to explain that weather shield a little better. two crystals close Ooh, two at a time. You have a chance to harvest both with one transport. Yeah, it didn't feel clear to me what that weather shield accomplished for, for us. Yes. Was that like, did that directly protect our expansions or I, I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. So, well, honestly, pretty minor thing. Like you fix it with one line of dialogue right. to clarify it and that's it. No problem. Uh, we have, it looks like three attack waves, one of which, or maybe even two are stuck. I'm not yes. sure. It clutters up the mini map a bit though. Now there's four. Okay. Yeah, maybe just orga like combine those just into two. Yeah, clean them up a little bit. So there's one transport, two two minerals. Yes. Oh my god, there's so many individual attacks going in. Yeah, maybe just have those all kind of show up as their own thing here. Do you need anything from me over there? I'm staying with the transport I'm, right now. I'm good over here. I'm taking care of this. Okay. I think it's this one down here that's... It, it might have just bugged a bit. I'm not sure. Oh, see, here it comes. Cool. It's actually an enemy base down there. I'm just going to bomb into it and see what yeah, happens. Let's go. Yeah, they were stuck. Oh, they, oh they, the bunkers. Half locked. Yeah. yeah. Maybe just widen that just a tiny bit to make sure that enemy attack waves don't get stuck between it, or behind it, rather. I'll keep pushing this way if you want to... Okay. Yeah, there's an attack from our behind as well. Yeah, that's, if you want to take care of that, I'll uh, finish this up. Are fully nice. nice. Now, Haman's forces don't stand a chance. Thanks to you. Yeah, I think the downtime in between each one felt long, but the mission length total really wasn't. So no. I'm not, I'm not sure maybe what the best way to deal with that is. 
Yeah, I mean, overall, I, I really enjoyed it. I like the bonus objectives. The, the biggest downtime was after those first three, but maybe that was just because we, I mean, we transported those really quickly. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah, that yeah. and it's it's sort of like there's no there's no minimum time it could take. Just you move out as fast as you want, and if you can, you can get those first several mm -hmm. right away. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I feel like there needs to be like just a little something else to make this map, um, like just push it over like the top. I like, think just have the storms last the whole second the whole, part of the map. Oh, the they map. did disappear. Yeah. yeah, that would have definitely made it more challenging as well. So you could have, I mean, just artificially, you could have the the transports move slower. Hmm. That you know they're on the screen a bit right. longer. Just to, you know, it'll shorten the time in between the ones that are being escorted at a time. Um, the only other thing that I found, yeah. So describe the weather shield. Not a big deal. Could be you know easily clarified and then also um just fix whatever's path blocking some of the spawned enemy attack waves mm -hmm. and other than that I, th I think it was great and that i think that would inherently correct the cluttered enemy attacks on the minimap too as right. long as they don't get stuck they won't get stacked up right yeah i think you could definitely uh, slow down the the transports because they didn't have very far to move anyways so from like from once they pick up the crystal to drop it off so mm -hmm. but overall, overall great. Great. yeah great map and uh yeah this is this has been deltron and jay signing out we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye